Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to put on the wooden trim on your roof sides. Okay, for example, in this one, we've got this purple trim on either side of that pitch. We have the purple trim underneath the um, conical tower, and we have the purple trim underneath the rim of this uh, forward facing mansard style roof. The trim, once we get it done, we're going to paint it all the same color and that's really going to tie the whole house together and bring some unity with the diagonal lines, vertical and horizontal lines. So to get started, I'm going to show you the forward facing roof first. You basically want to make all of your lines parallel so that the wooden trim seems like it was all the same size when it was made. So I'm going to lay my ruler down parallel and draw a straight line next to my already uh, diagonal line that I have there. Next, I'm going to do the other side and try to make the two trim pieces pretty similar so you don't have one like really large piece of trim and then one small piece of trim because uh, that that's kind of would not happen. Okay. Once I get those two pieces of trim on, I want to cut them off so that they're even. To do that, I'm just going to lay my ruler horizontal so it matches with the end or the bottom or the top of my paper and then I'm just going to draw some little lines connecting those two parallel lines right there like that and whatever you have left over you simply take your eraser and erase that extra piece okay just like that all right then for a conical tower you're going to do the conical tower remember I said that the roofs should go over the edge of your house because the whole point of having the, the roof there is so that the water drips off the edge of it and doesn't get into the house, right? So like here, here, up here, you can see that roof extends over the edge of the house. So we already extended those lines and if this is the edge of my house here, we want our roof to be something like that. So I'm gonna extend my line down and take my roof line like this. All right, so there's my roof line. And then I'm just gonna, because it's a conical tower, I'm gonna curve it ever so slightly right there at the edge, ever so slightly right there at the edge. And then I'm gonna start erasing. The things you wanna erase are pretty much everything on the inside, except for that straight line you just made. So you're gonna have to erase the top of your rectangle like that on that side and the top of your rectangle on this side and that will give you the conical roof then erase you know the diagonal lines on the inside because we don't want those tripping us up later and then erase that extended line off the edge so that that's not in our way anymore either so if I go back and just kind of re pencil this in it should look something like that when you're done so there's the empty triangle here and then that square there next this roof that's facing to the side if you just take a little line right underneath it a little horizontal line I'm gonna put a little horizontal line right here and here and extend it past then take a vertical line and just go right up to the tip of that corner that will be your piece of trim I'm just gonna erase that little teeny line that's in between that used to be part of the wall so that little rectangle will be our trim and it should extend all the way behind there okay gotta erase those other pieces that were in inside that trim alright now our last one is our mansard style roof if you have a mansard style roof on you're going to want to put a little bit of trim underneath. Basically, that's just going to look like one more horizontal line right below what you already have. And then a little vertical line to connect that corner and to connect that corner. So those two corners are connected. All right. And that is how you do four different kinds of roof trim. The one facing forward, conical tower, roof trim right underneath a roof that's pointing to the side and then roof trim right underneath uh, a mansard style roof or underneath a walk around or front porch 
Okay, I'm gonna leave this example here so you can kind of look at those different pieces and see what they should look like as a final product.